Who stayed up until like 3 a.m. playing the new Pokemon games? Me. Dude, hear me out. The games nowadays are super, super cool. But why is there so much talking? Like, oh my god. I swear it took two hours of just hammering A and going through dialogue before I actually got to like really play the game. Now that I'm into it, I recommend it to anybody who is still a fan of the franchise, but it is gonna be a slow start. Anyway, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and happy Friday. So last week I did kind of a goofy video where I talked about how I pictured every NFL quarterback when they were in high school. You guys really seem to like that. And a matter of fact, I've gotten a lot of requests to do it again, but with a different position. So that's what we're gonna do today. Except this time with running backs. If you guys have fun with this video and you want me to do it with receivers, tight ends, linebackers, something else like that, make sure to let me know. Couple of quick things before we hop into the video. One, head over to gfuel.com. Use code Wyatt's World. Save yourself a discount on any G Fuel products. And two, if you're 18 years or older, you can head over to Prize Picks, the daily fantasy app where code Wyatt's World will match up to $100 of your first deposit. Remember, guys, always play responsibly and let's get into the video. All right, so here we are. It is plain and simple, just like it was last week. We've got like 34, 35 running backs and a high school to put them all in. So to start off the list, we've got Aaron Jones. How was he in high school? To me, don't ask why, but Aaron Jones in high school was the kid who walked around the hallways listening to music out loud through his phone right next to his ear like this. I feel like he didn't really ever care what anybody thought of him and he kind of just kept to himself. Up next, we got AJ Dillon. He was the guy in high school who was freakishly strong, but he was a huge dork and he wouldn't hurt a fly. If he wasn't in the gym squatting, he was in the library playing Magic the Gathering. All right, moving on, we got Elvin Kamara. He was the guy who would try and sell his mixtapes at lunch for a dollar, and people would listen to him even though they were terrible just to support him. Moving on, we got Antonio Gibson. He was the kid that transferred to your school and everyone thought he was the coolest kid ever. And then after like two years, you realized he's not all that cool at all. Up next, we got Austin Eckler. He was on the wrestling team and by 11th grade, he enlisted in the military. All right, moving on, we got Cam Akers. This is the kid who claims he is a star at everything, but when his time comes to actually shine, he's just horrible. After Cam Akers, we've got Chase Edmonds. He was the guy in high school that everybody forgot was in your grade, but occasionally he would just say like a one-liner in class to make everyone laugh and remember that he exists. After Chase Edmonds, we've got J.K. Dobbins. He was the one dude who showed up every single day in a knee brace, no matter what. Like it gets to the point where people just start to wonder if he's wearing it for attention or not. Following J.K. Dobbins, we've got Christian McCaffrey. He was the one white guy at every high school who was just dominant at every sport he played. Football, basketball, baseball, you name it. What sports did CMC play in high school? The former Stanford University tailback played basketball, football, and baseball. Swear to God, I didn't know that. You can just tell by looking at him who he is. Moving on, we got Clyde. He was the kid who was the best at every sport up until about ninth grade, and then he just stopped getting better. And then slowly but surely by senior year, he was completely irrelevant and every parent, including his own, forgot about him. Following Clyde, we've got Cordero Patterson. He's like the super, super senior that everybody still loves because he hooks kids up with alcohol after games. After Cordero, we've got Delvin Cook. He was the football player who secretly took dance classes, and that's why he's so good on his feet, but if anybody ever found that out, his life would be ruined. Up next, we've got Damian Harris. Kind of like I said with the quarterback, he hung around the popular crowd, but he didn't really say much, ever. But he was friends with a couple of the kids in the group, so nobody ever minded him being around. Up next, we've got DeAndre Swift. I feel like his dad worked at a soda distribution company, and he just sold the leftover pop that his dad brought home out of his locker for a dollar. Seems like one of those short, scrappy hustlers. Moving on, we got David Montgomery. He's the kid that every time he said anything, everyone just told him to shut the fuck up. Doesn't matter what it is. It could be good morning, everybody. It was just shut the fuck up, David. Following David, we've got Derek Henry. He was the kid in high school who already had two sleeves of tattoos by the time he graduated. He was taller than all the teachers and faculty members, so they were scared of him. And after every single high school football game, he was met with a steroid test on the bus. There's also a huge conspiracy going around that people think he's like 34 years old. Moving on, we got Devin Singletary. He was the running back who was actually really good in high school, but he only got to touch the ball like once a game. But that one touch would be a huge one, and then he would just go back to the bench and sit behind like eight other guys who are physically bigger than him. 
Following Devin, we've got Elijah Mitchell. Acts like he listens to rap music, but in all reality, he's listening to Hannah Montana all the time, even walking through the hallways. All right, moving on, we got Zeke. He was the guy who thought he was literally the best athlete in the state, but in reality, he was just about as good as any other kid. After Zeke, we've got James Conner. He was the guy who said he played for the football team, but he didn't actually play for the football team. He was on the bench all the time. Up next, we got James Robinson. He was the short, stocky kid who wore shorts and t-shirts every single day, no matter how cold it was outside. And he acted like he didn't care, but in reality, he was in a ton of pain. Up next, we've got Javante Williams. He was the guy that transferred into your district during high school, and everybody loved him. The teachers loved him. The faculty he loved him and on a second day of school he got hit by a bus and he can't come back for the rest of the year moving on we got joe mixon he was the guy who got in big trouble because as a high schooler he was accepting thousands of dollars from colleges for early commitments after joe mixon we've got jt he was the guy that kept dating the same girl over and over again even though she kept cheating on him after jonathan taylor we've got josh jacobs he was the guy who was always filming everything you're at the lunch table, there's a fight, you're in a car, you're at the mall, his phone is out and it's in your face. He also has like four minute snap stories every time he goes to a concert. Up next, we got Kareem Hunt. He was in kickboxing. After Kareem Hunt, we've got Melvin Gordon. He was the running back who was really good freshman year, but then physically let himself go, but remained on the team even though he was just a backup for the rest of his high school career. He was also notorious for blowing up a bathroom after every single game. Up next, we got Leonard Fournette. If you needed a snack, you go to his locker. He's got everything chips ahoy oreos granola bars he also spent like 24 dollars a day on lunch moving on we got michael carter he watched anime and tried to fight people in school using Dragon Ball Z powers. Moving on, we got Miles Sanders. He was the kid who got a ride home from a different person every single day. He just went around school asking from the first bell to the last, can you bring me home? After Miles Sanders, we've got Najee Harris. Coach's son, supposedly the best running back, but it's actually the worst. All the parents hate him. They don't want him to play, but the coach refuses to sit him because it is his son. He also reports people for drinking underage. Moving on, we got Nick Chubb. He was the guy that absolutely nobody ever saw because somehow he had like five gym classes a day and all he did was work out and drink protein shakes. He would also go to lunch and eat by himself and the second you tried to be friendly and sit at his table, he would just get up and walk away from you and go to another table by himself. Moving on, we got Rashad Penny. He's like the guy in the episode of SpongeBob where they're selling chocolate. You know, he's literally made a glass and his heart attacks put him to sleep. Following Rashad Penny, we've got Ramondre Stevenson. He was in track and he could jump over like three hurdles at a time and that's how he ended up on the football team. A coach saw him one day and they said, hey, get your ass over here. Moving on, we got Saquon. He was the kid who literally could not wear jeans because they wouldn't fit around his legs. They would just rip every single time. So he had to wear sweatpants or shorts every single day. All right, moving on, we got Tony Pollard. He was clearly the best running back on the team, but he was a underclassman and the coach refused to play him because he wanted his seniors to get more playing time. Also, every time Tony got a chance to play, it would be a generational performance that would just end up with him getting benched again. And lastly, we've got Travis Etienne. I don't really have anything to say about him, honestly. I don't think I've ever heard the guy talk, so I'm just gonna say he got caught looking at porn during a game in the bathroom during halftime. All right, guys, and that is going to be all for me saying how I thought every running back was when they were in high school. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you had fun with it. It's not meant to be serious. Anyway, if you guys do want to support this video, you already know what to do. Comment, like, subscribe, turn that bell on. I do my best to post on this channel every single day. With everything I just said, I'm going to hop off and get this edited so you guys can watch it on time. I hope you have a great weekend, and as always, I will see you in the next video.